Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Playing With Plastic. I'm the big cat. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Select, Captain America. All right, let's check out the packaging. Typical Marvel Legends packaging. I like that. I'm guessing that's Kirby or Steranko. And we go barcode, product shots, bio of Captain America. I'm not going to read it. It's Captain America. Everybody knows. But I will highlight. Designed by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by Chris Dahlberg. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's open it up. Careful. Gonna get in close and look at the details. Really nice head sculpt. They got a little bit of a blemish there underneath his eye. Uh, there's a few things on the figure. Uh, be careful. Uh, the star, there's a little bit of red going through there. A little bit of flakiness on this guy. And a little bit of goop. A really heavy handed uh, dirt there. But for the most part, he looks great. The chain mail is uh, sculpted in. At first, it looks like it was done uh, with paint, but it is not. That is sculpted detail. Um, it reminds me of the Steve, I think it's Eagle Sham, Captain America, from his run. This is a, this is a pretty nice retro-looking Captain America. Again, a little bit of sloppiness on the paint. He doesn't feel that great in hand, to be honest. That's the first Marvel Select I'm not over the moon about. And now we're going to check out some articulation. All right, the head and neck are two separate pieces, so tons of up. That's amazing. That's really good. All kinds of down, too. The, the neck is really good on this figure. That is great. Now, let's check out some more. Depose, check. Bicep swivel, full 360. Ooh, a double jointed elbow. Oh, a Marvel Select with a double jointed elbow. Look at that. That's awesome. Pins in there, but, uh, you know, kind of everything. Really nice. I like that. And we have rotation at the glove, the top of the glove, and the wrist. Wiggle waggle, all that. We have a cut at the diaphragm up here. Pretty stiff. Forward like that. Uh, so you get twist up at the top of the, the cut, and you have... A waist swivel. That's nice. Not bad. This I don't like. I don't know if you can see that. When he put his leg back, he got the top. He got a hole just coming right out there. I'm not a big fan of that, and it doesn't take much. Like, that's normal. Back like that, and you're starting to see it. So not a fan of that. Kicks up to there. No thigh cut, but double jointed knees. God damn. Well, he can't kick his ass. Nope. Feels. I don't know. I don't know. There's something off about this guy. The boot feels great right there. Got a boot cut. Good up. Good down. 
Good rocker. All in all, this is really good articulation from Marvel Select. Um, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. There's just it's let down by the the sculpt in a way, or the way it was molded at the top of the leg. I don't like that, but still pretty damn good. Let's check out the accessories. First up, we get his iconic shield. The rings are molded. The star is molded. You can feel it all. Looks good behind there. Really good. Oh. It comes apart. And I guess you can, uh, it'll be easier to put on. Uh oh. Oh, no. We got one for each. Okay. So, there we go. Shield number one. He comes with his original shield. The Sentinel of Liberty shield, I think. This is really cool. Yeah. Really nicely done. Again. Comes apart to help. Put the arm through. Really good. It's, I think that's the shield he has when uh, he punches out Hitler. Yeah. I'm down for that. We got his cowl that can go on his neck. Stick that to the side. We have a belt that goes around his waist. Yes, that's what belts do. <sighs> Little, oh, there we go. Be careful because look at this. The more you, it feels kind of weak there, so be careful when you're putting it on. Nicely done details on that pouch bag. What else we got? We got his parachute straps. There we go. Plug for the shield. We have a regular Steve Rogers head sculpt. Nicely done. Stick that there. And then we got the original mask. I like that little smirk. Really nicely done. Karate chopping hands. Grasping hands. Fisting hands. And he is not complete without his pointing I want you finger. All in all, very nice accessories. Okay, next up, let's do some comparisons. First up, and what most people will compare him with, uh, this is the 80th anniversary cap from Hasbro, which was a pretty decent looking figure. He looks actually pretty decent. He was a great looking Marvel legend. Uh, the chainmail sculpting is still really good on him. I do like the head sculpt on this Marvel Select, but they're both solid Captain Americas. I don't think you could go wrong. With either one. It depends on the scale you're going to go with. Uh, this cap is obviously larger 7-inch scale. And Legends are in 6-inch. So, there you go. Sticking with Marvel Legends. Here he is next to the Marvel vs. Capcom Iron Man. And, of course, the Orb. And here he is next to a couple other Avengers from Marvel Select. We have the Immortal Hulk. And the Retro Vision. Sticking with the Marvel Select next to Titanium Man and the also newly released Crimson Dynamo. Lastly, Marvel Select Silver Centurion Iron Man. And that's going to do it for our look at the new Marvel Select Captain America and a pretty decent figure. Um, I'm a little let down. Uh, the sculpt, uh, there's a few gaps on the top of his legs that are kind of unsightly at a certain point. Uh, flaky paint and a bit overdone on the wash in certain areas. But I mean, you get what you pay for. Uh, you get your money's worth with this, as usual, Marvel Select. Accessories are on point. There's just something about him that I don't really like the feel of him. With the flaky uh, flakiness of the paint, 
I don't know, not the best Marvel Select to come out recently. And uh, they've been on quite a roll. Maybe I'm being a bit too harsh, but... Uh, I mean, you get three different versions of Cap if you want. You got the Sentinel of Liberty one, the original suit. That's what I'm calling it, where he punches Hitler in the face. Uh, you got, like, the, uh, the the Eagle Sham Captain America from, like, the 70s, 80s, I think. And then you got an unmasked Cap. So, all in all, I recommend it, but I don't highly recommend it. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys next time. Big Cat out. Oh.